So, you want to be a card magician. Johann Hofzinser, one of the greatest magicians of all time, called card magic the poetry of conjuring. Even Houdini billed himself as the king of cards at one point. So I think it's pretty fair to say that almost every magician has gotten some kind of an education or a start doing some card magic. If that's your goal, you're absolutely in the right spot here on Erudite Magic. The purpose of this video is to share with you how you can take the next step to becoming a better card magician now that you've learned a trick or two. Or maybe you don't know anything and you're wondering, how do I get started? Since my channel is all about magic books, I want to alert you that if you've only ever watched YouTube videos, you can go way deeper by studying magic books books. I've had some videos before where I talk about the way different people learn, and sometimes watching a video is the easiest way to learn a certain slight or trick. But if you're only learning tricks here on YouTube, in my opinion, you're shortchanging yourself just a little bit. And the reason for that is because if you're learning it on YouTube, that means it's accessible for everyone else. Anyone else who's learning tricks on YouTube likely has the same source as you. And if you're doing this for your friends or family or coworkers, they can probably just Google it and the YouTube video from which you learned the trick is likely to be one of the top results. So that brings us back to books. When you're just getting started in magic, there are two primary books that you should think about if you really want to get educated about card magic. And in this video, I'm going to help you dissect which one might be right for you. Don's Magic and Books is sponsoring this episode of Erudite Magic, and it is a great place for you to shop for magic books. One, because Don has a great selection of both used and new books, but even better, he's offering you, as my viewers, 10% off by using the code CARDS this week at checkout. So whether you're thinking about buying your first card magic book or your thousandth card magic book, Don's is a great place to shop with a tremendous selection and astonishing prices. Tell them I sent you, use code CARDS at checkout, and save 10% this week. Magicians have a very long history of learning from the printed word. While it's always wonderful if you can find a mentor who will show you tricks, that's not always possible. So one of the next best things to in-person magic instruction is having a book. And there are two primary card magic resources that are fantastic, whether you're a beginner or an enthusiastic amateur. Of course, the two books to which I'm referring are The Royal Road to Card Magic by Hugard and Browie, and Roberto Giobi's Card College. Let's break this down in this video. Ask any knowledgeable magician how they learned about card magic, and they're sure to tell you that one of the resources on which they leaned heavily was The Royal Road to Card Magic. This book will walk you through everything you need to know, taking you from being a beginner to that advanced intermediate state if you learn everything in this book. So what's in it, you might ask? He'll teach you how to hold a pack of cards, how to shuffle a pack of cards, how to false shuffle, table shuffle, do some fancy flourishes, how to perform a double lift. Each chapter breaks down certain slights to make sure that it's not overwhelming to the reader. But beyond teaching you the slights that you'll need, each chapter has tricks that use only what you've learned up to this point in your journey down the royal road to card magic. It will go over so many things, way more than you'll ever need, and the tricks that it teaches are some really great tricks. There are mind reading tricks, there are card at any number type effects, there's gambling demonstrations, comedy, serious, however you wanna play it, you can find something that can be adapted to your style and needs here in this book. So what are the drawbacks to a book like this? Well, one of them is that it was written in the 50s. So if you're used to watching videos and learning that way, you're going to have to retrain your brain to read the printed word and comprehend exactly what you should do. Now, don't get me wrong. Everything is written with plenty of detail for you to learn and do these tricks without any help from outside magicians. But it is written in an older style, and some of the presentations will certainly need to be tweaked 
to make them relatable to your audiences. I definitely perform tricks from this book all the time, so the material is as relevant today as it was back then. It's just that the text is older. Now that's an endearing style to me and possibly to many of you as the viewers if you own this book. If you love The Royal Road to Card Magic, let me hear from you down below about what do you like about it and maybe what do you see as some of the biggest pitfalls of The Royal Road to Card Magic. This little book has been around for a very long time and is an extremely affordable resource. Amazon has copies listed anywhere from $6 to $13 and I acquired this particular paperback version back in the early 2000s for around $10. The Royal Road to Card Magic is inexpensive, easy to obtain. It goes over almost everything you would want to know in card magic. So what's different about Roberto Giobi's Card College? If I can give you an analogy, the Royal Road to Card Magic is like that survey course you took in college. Kind of gives you the overview of the subject and tells you a lot of the interesting things you'll need to stay relevant when you're at a party and talking to someone about the subject. But if you want to have an in-depth conversation or debate with someone, especially with lots of jargon and technical discussion, you're going to need to go further in your education and look into the Card College series. Roberto Giobi is widely recognized as an expert on playing cards. I'm only going to look at volume one here in this discussion, but please know that there are five volumes that teach all different kinds of things. Volume one is fairly similar to The Royal Road to Card Magic in terms of what it covers. There are some small differences. It doesn't teach the past. There are a few things that you won't learn in this book that you would learn in The Royal Road to Card Magic. However, I feel that the instruction in Card College is much deeper than what you're going to find in The Royal Road to Card Magic. On top of that, it was written more recently, published in the 90s, so the types of tricks that it gives you with each chapter on a certain slight will probably already be slightly updated and more relevant to you and your audiences. There are technical drawings at the beginning, and he spends the first part of the book really telling you simple things like how to hold a pack of cards and how to deal cards, how your grip will change when you go to shuffle the cards. It has a lot more technical details than the Royal Road to Card Magic, which sometimes just glosses over what you need to know. Each book has dozens and dozens of tricks that will have you performing and entertaining your friends, family, and coworkers in no time. Any serious student of Card Magic will have the Card College books, or at least several of them, on his or her shelf. So I told you that I was going to help you break this down. In my opinion, here's how you should go. If you're just getting started, spend the approximately $10 to pick up the Royal Road to Card Magic and at least read through the first few chapters to learn about the overhand shuffle, the riffle shuffle, and some of the tricks that can be done with those slights. If it's easy enough for you to grasp what the author is saying and apply it and start performing, then you're set. You could read all the way through this and in a few months, you'd have a great working knowledge and repertoire of tricks that can be done anytime, anywhere with a pack of playing cards. In fact, if you get to a point where you feel like, hey, maybe I've got this and I would enjoy studying some other aspects of this card magic stuff, now's the time to think about going more seriously into it with the Card College series. The Royal Road to Card Magic isn't hard to find on a site like Amazon or anywhere where regular books are sold. But if you're wanting to go further into those secrets of card magic with Card College, you're going to have to purchase from a more specialized magic bookshop. If you don't already have a great magic bookstore near you, then definitely check out Don's Magic and Books in the description down below. If you order $20 or more of books from Don, then you get free shipping here in the continental United States. If you're an experienced magician and you have read The Royal Road to Card Magic and maybe Card College, sound off in the comments down below what's your favorite and why. Which did you find to be more helpful in your development? In my own personal card magic journey, I found both to be important resources for me, and I think that if you explore them, you'll find that they will help turn you into a wonderful card magician. There are several reasons to get involved with books. One is that magicians, like any other hobby, have a jargon that they use. So when you read the books, as opposed to just watching the videos, you start to understand some of the specialized terms and equipment that magicians use. Not only that, 
you're going to find tricks that only you are performing because they say that if you want to hide a great trick, put it in print. Everyone can watch a YouTube video and learn to perform a trick from that. Only a select few are going to go through a book, find a trick that they like, and put in what it takes to present that to an audience. So you'll be performing pieces that are somewhat unique to you. And finally, if you're performing from a book, it's not something that people can just Google on their phones and turn and show their friends, hey, this is what they're doing, it's right here on YouTube. So for these reasons and more, I think that it's important that you begin your journey into books after you've maybe learned a few things that excited your passion about card magic here on YouTube. Let me hear from you. What are you struggling with as you begin this exciting journey into card magic? What are you considering as your next steps? I'd love to help out in any way that I can, so don't be afraid to drop me a comment down below with any questions or comments that you might have. As always, my friends, I sincerely appreciate you watching and hope that you'll take time to comment down below to let new magicians know how they should stick to this and what you have learned from these delightful books, Roberto Giobi's Card College and Hugard and Browie's Royal Road to Card Magic. Until next time, all my erudite friends, keep reading.